guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. I wanted to do something fun. Um, I wanted to do something dark and smoky. But I want to have a little bit of fun with it rather than just being the same old smoky eye. I added a little glitter because who doesn't love glitter? And um, I have nothing else to say. I am the worst at intros. Okay, keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. Because we're doing such a dark, smoky eye today, we're going to start with the eyes. That way, if any black eyeshadow falls onto my cheeks, I can wipe it away before I do my face makeup. So first, as always, MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, all over the lid. And of course, I'm starting with my brows done because I do have a video that is a brow tutorial. So if you want to check that out, go for it. But I'm not going to be doing my brows in my videos anymore, in my tutorials. I'm trying to condense my videos as much as I can so that they're not so long and you don't have to sit there for 20 minutes watching me do my makeup. To set that in place, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette and I'm going to use the shade China White. Now I'm going to start doing a transition color. I'm going to use the color Courtney and then after that I'm going to be using Vanity. So I'm going in with Courtney as my transition shade. So keeping that right in the crease. Kyle, I think I'm a little bit blown out. Thank you. Sorry, I just realized I was a little bit blown out, so that's a little bit better. Okay, so taking Courtney in the crease, and I'm gonna be bringing that all the way to the inner corner because it is such a dark, smoky eye. We wanna have it blended on all edges because the black's gonna be going all the way to the inner corner as well. I'm gonna quickly go back into the China White that I used to set my lid. Just a little bit and just to help blend that out a little bit on the edges. I want this to be a nice smooth transition. Of course this is going to be our highest transition color so it's okay to bring it a little bit up past your crease. Now I'm going to go in with Vanity and this one we're going to keep a little bit lower in the crease because this will be the color that's going to transition right into the black. I'm just building the color up slowly. I don't want to get too much on my brush right away and build it up too much because once it's on there you can't take it back so just slowly building it up and then once you feel like your eye lid is raw you might have it blended enough but just keep going anyways and obviously it doesn't matter if this color gets on your lid because that's gonna be covered in black anyways if you feel like you've lost too much of that transition shade feel free to go back into it and brighten it up a little bit Okay, now it's time to dip into some black. I'm gonna go into my Tarte Amazonian, Tartlet, Tarte Tartlet Amazonian Clay Matte Palette. And I'm gonna be going in with Fashionista. I'm gonna be taking a pencil brush and I'm going to take just a little bit of that and I'm gonna start blending that into the colors I already have. I'm not gonna go straight into the lid. I'm going to slowly blend that into the crease first. This is a tip that I got from Desi. She did a video recently on doing a smoky black eye and showed some tips and tricks. And rather than going on to the lid first, she did this first and I thought it was really cool. So I'm doing that. So I'm just going back into this clean brush to blend it out. This way when you put it, put your black down on the lid, it's already all blended out on the edges which is pretty smart. You can just keep building that black up. I place it down with a pencil brush and then I go in and blend it more with that clean blending brush. Now that I feel like I have that black pretty, pretty blended, I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and put that right on the center of my lid as a base for the black, just to help deepen it up a bit. Making sure to get right down into those lashes and then just using a brush to help push that around a little bit. Time to pack Fashionista all over the lid. And again, going in with that same brush. No product on it. Actually, a little bit of product on it. A little bit of the black on it. And blend it into that black that you already have blended into your other colors. See how easy it was to blend it once you've already had it pre-blended? <laughs> Look at all that fallout. This is why I did my eyes first. So I'm going to go ahead and take a makeup wipe now and clear that away and also just sharpen up that edge a little bit. 
And I'm just gonna take my Essence Gel Waterproof Liner and quickly get that in there. I just wanna make sure that there's no gaps between the top of my eyelid and underneath so that it's just a solid black. That way when I put lashes on later, you're not gonna see any skin poking through. On to face makeup. I'm gonna start by using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer all over my face. And then I'm gonna use a foundation that I don't think I've actually used on my channel before. I've had it for a while, but I don't think it's made it into any of my videos. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, and this stuff is awesome. My Sephora doesn't carry this foundation, so I ordered it online. I ordered two different colors, and then I just returned the one that did not match. So I grabbed their two lightest shades, and I'm in the shade Alabaster. So I'm just gonna stick that on my cheeks and my chin, down my nose. Something like that, so I look a little freaky. I've noticed a lot of people like to use a brush with this foundation, but I actually like to use my beauty blender. I just kind of, rather than just pouncing, I kind of pounce and swipe at the same time, just to help move that product around a bit because it is a pretty thick foundation being that it's a stick foundation. For concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape under the eyes. Just being very careful not to get up into that eyeshadow. Also in this inner corner, you gotta make sure you don't run into that black and start dragging that underneath your eye because that would not look so good. So that today I'm going to be using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I'm going to take a bit of a smaller brush to go underneath my eyes. And then a big fluffy brush for the rest of my face. To contour I'm going to be using the NYX HD Blush in Taupe. Almost time to buy a new one of these guys. I'm going to switch over to a fluffier brush to do my forehead, nose contour. Now before I do my blush and my highlight, I'm going to go in with this. I talked about these in my last video. I did a look with this color and it was so much fun. You should go watch it if you haven't yet. These are the Revlon. Photo Ready Eye Art. I haven't actually used this color yet though, so I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be taking the sparkly side and putting this under my eye for a little unexpected pop of color. I'm gonna put the cream under it first. That's the cream eyeshadow by itself, that's the glitter by itself, and then that's the two together. So I think I am gonna use the two together just to get that little extra pop of color. I'm just gonna scrape off most of it so that it's just sitting at the tip and I can really control where it's going. Oh, by the way, this is in the color Green Glimmer, although this looks more blue to me than green. Maybe like a teal. I'm gonna give that a little second to dry before I put the glitter on top. I'm actually gonna go back in with that Essence Gel Liner and put that in my waterline. Time for some glitter. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm using that glitter, I'm kind of pulling it down past where I put the cream shadow to kind of give it a blend it out. Oh, that's such a fun look. I am loving this. I'm going to give that a second to dry before I put mascara and stuff on, so I'm going to go back to my face. I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in Berry and More. Just a little bit of this. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using my new favorite. You already know. Over our Rodeo Drive, this stuff is beautiful. Back to the eyes. I'm going to be putting lashes on today. Which ones? Which ones? I think I'm going to need some big lashes to go with this big, bold look. So I'm going to use Bella Lashes from Icon. I do have a code for this, a discount code for Icon Lashes. It is Lolani MUA. I'll put it in the corner somewhere. And since we have such a dark eyeshadow, we don't even have to do eyeliner for this. So I'm just gonna pop those on. Ah, I forgot to do mascara first. I'm gonna use my 
Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and quickly put that on. Do you guys want me to make a video on how I apply my lashes? If so, leave a comment down below and I will do that for you guys. There we go, now the drama on the top matches the drama on the bottom. Now we just need to finish this up with some lipstick. For lips, I'm gonna go in with another Revlon product. I'm gonna use the Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Seduction. I'm gonna set that using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. You know what, I'm actually feeling like I need a gloss with this look. So I'm gonna take Maybelline Baby Lips Taupe with me and just stick that right on top. And there we have the finished look. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do that before you go. And if you liked today's video, leave me a thumbs up or a comment. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.